Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We're Piers and Andy, you've joined us at the Asprey and it's Monday, that means it's the Impact Show. Andy, what's going on? Well, we're talking all about the lower body and we're gonna be showing you guys how to fix that nasty early extension. Let's take charge of your game. So we've had loads of great questions as always. Don't forget, it's all about you. So post those questions down below and we'll pick one for next week. Right now, Andy, Alex von Weisenberg, I hope I pronounced that correctly. That I've got that one out pretty good there. I'm not gonna do it again. Um, hi guys, could you help me with an issue that I have early extension? He's struggling with his um, control power feels like he's losing distance because he's early extending he's very aware that his right foot right-handed golfer is very much thrusting towards the golf ball as opposed to moving towards the target so early extension first of all just for the people who don't know what early extension is can you just describe what yeah, it is of course we can. yeah so the early extension is generally when we see it's almost like a lot of posture where we get the hips thrusting towards the target okay and the upper body then sort of rises but often when we see this we often see the right foot thrusting and the right knee and right hip thrusting towards the golf ball and and it's interesting that alec there said he doesn't struggle too much with strike yeah. and this is a real sort of um a fault that causes a lot of strike issues if you if you're somebody who hits the heel of the golf club or the hustle often we see it's from this early extension move and it limits the amount of rotation and the amount of movement we can get towards the target target as well yeah. so in terms of power for him it's not happening with his driver just with the irons which is interesting okay and there's, there's multiple reasons why it could be hip mobility it could be the problem it could be a, a concept in your goal swing it could be what you're doing with your hands on the downswing but we're going to attack this right foot, this trail foot. So Andy, I think you've got a great We have a really good drill. Again, like you said, it's gonna attack the lower body and more of the, the feet really, um, to, to just enable us to actually get the weight moving towards the target, hopefully keep the pelvis back a little bit more, but limit the amount of movement we've got with that right foot. And this is great. We were doing some practice swings before we actually put the cameras on here and we were saying, Andy's saying, I could never even shank it from here. No chance of actually hitting out the heel from here. So if you are shanking, please watch this. Definitely, right, okay. So as we mentioned here, we've got the alignment stick on the ground at an angle now it's really key that it's just in front of the shin literally right on the inside of your shin here and it's key that you can get it at that point because what we're looking to do here is as we start the downswing now we want to make sure that we obviously don't want to thrust towards the golf ball yeah. we want to encourage now to shift the the lower body towards the target and get the weight rolling on the inside of that foot now if i do it right i can shift the weight i can rotate and i can miss the alignment stick and finish on that lead side and if I can do that I'm going to limit the amount of early extension encourage my weight to go towards my lead side hopefully get a much stronger hit as well perfect okay I see you just rehearsed that a couple more times into that transition so we almost want to imagine this is a cattle prod that you're going to get electrocuted if you I wish it was a cattle prod actually with Andy there but but you can see when he's doing this it very much gives him a feeling of obviously moving toward the target with his lower body that right knee moving in towards the left knee which is something that anyone who early extends really does struggle with Okay, let's watch hit one, shall we? This is pretty simple, this one is. Yeah. Very simple drill, very simple feeling. For somebody who shanks the golf ball and hits the heel, this is definitely a great one to rehearse. Let me get myself lined up, make sure it's in the right place. Here we go. Pretty good shot there, and you can see I had to, I had to work hard there just to move that, but I definitely felt that my pelvis stayed back. I rotated into this lead hip, and the striker was pretty solid for that one there. There you go, Ali. Give that a try and let us know how you get on with that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the videos there. Please leave any comments and questions down below if you want to see more great golf instructions. Subscribe to the channel right here for videos every week. Absolutely, get involved. Go to meandmygolf.com as well. Check it out. Seven day free trial there in the corner. Lots of great videos that are definitely going to help your golf this year. Thanks for watching and see you soon.